Okay, in this video what we're going to do is go over how to start our Habitat for Humanity house. And at this point you should have had uh, three scaled sketches that you created and you should have given uh, your client a look at them and they should have picked the one that they like most. Uh, so what we're going to do is, like always, we're going to start with this architectural template. And once it opens up, what we're going to do different this time is we're going to insert a picture of your scaled sketch. And you should use your phone... Uh, to take a scaled picture of it uh, and then what we're going to do is insert the image so we go insert image and we're going to go Mr. T example you're going to find where yours is saved I saved mine in my H drive so wherever you have your save I'm going to put that in and obviously we have some issues one I have to rotate it so I just select it hit the rotate up here and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, so I click one point, and I just rotate it 90. Then, obviously, it's really big, so I'm going to take it, and I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to put it within my uh, elevation view uh, boxes right here, and let's see how we did. Uh, I know that my boxes were two feet, so if I come to the architecture tab and select the model line, and I just go across from one to one, you can see I'm at four, so yeah, this thing's you know, twice the size it should be. And this is kind of going to be trial and error. So let's zoom in again. Architecture tab, model line. I use this one because I like to see the green on it. And we're going to just scale this down. So after some trial by error off camera, uh, I got it to be, you can see, two feet per square. And now what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to start tracing uh, around my exterior walls. And what you want to remember is if we look at our construction guidelines, it says right here in the types of construction that if you use exterior wood frame wall construction will consist of fully sheathed two by six construction. Okay, so let's go to architecture let's do our wall what we're going to do is take a generic wall we're going to duplicate duplicate it let's call it exterior wall okay let's get in there and edit it all right so what we're going to do is just make our stud layer uh the softwood lumber and remember what it has to be is it has to be five and a half inches thick because a two by six is actually five and a half so let's do our thickness 5.5 .5. oh geez and then insert another layer. Let's move this up. That's our substrate. It said uh, fully sheathed. So I know I'm going to plywood sheathing for that. And it's going to be just half inch plywood. And then now for your finish, uh, it doesn't really specify. You could use siding. Uh, since we're trying to keep this on the affordable side, if you were to use brick, we would use brick veneer. And I'm creating my siding layer. But back to the brick veneer is that if you were using brick veneer, do some research as to how thick that uh, brick veneer is because you wouldn't use the whole brick just because it'd be a little on the expensive side. So I'm thinking that, you know, siding is probably th the most, the vinyl siding is a pretty economical route to go. So I created my material siding. I'm going to come to the graphics and use the rendered appearance. So I made my siding layer. We know from our shed project, it's a half inch thick. Let's insert one more and move it all the way down to this other side of the core boundary because now we're going to have another finish on the inside. And this is going to be our gypsum wall board or often uh, referred to as uh, drywall, uh, the name brand. And so, you know, we do half inch just because we're trying to keep it affordable. Okay. And so now that we have our wall, it's in here. We can see it. Remember, we're going to set our height to go up to level two. We'll worry about that later. And we're going to do uh, our core face interior. Because I'm going to go clockwise around. And I'm going to start down in this corner. And this, yeah, you probably should have drawn some not-so-thick lines. It would be a little easier to see. And I'm going to draw up. And when I get to this point and I come across, I start to notice that, you know, my picture's a little crooked. And that's because when you took your picture, you're not going to scan it completely perfect. So let's come in here and rotate it. And I would just take it and rotate it by one degree. I could actually type one and then type it. And let's go into our model line and just 
click on a, a point on our graph and can just go straight across to another. And you can see by rotating that one degree, I alleviated the, the crookedness of me taking the picture since it's kind of our fast and dirty way to do this. We still have our exterior wall. Let's come back in here now and let's go up. And this is where if you, like I've always said, if you put the work in for a good sketch and we're going to go around, then this should be the nicest where your work pays off dividends, right? And you just have easy peasy. And I'm going to go around and I'm just tracing my sketch. There we go. All right, I have my exterior walls. Let's see some detail level to find. Let's turn off our line thickness so now we can kind of see it. All right, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and do my interior walls. To do that, what we have to do is let's go and let's grab that generic wall again. I don't care which one. Edit. Let's duplicate it. Let's call it interior wall. All right, so what does our new construction guideline say about that? So, uh... Does it say anything about interior walls, interior walls? Nope. So let's do the same thing that we did uh, for uh, our shed. Let's use two by fours. So again, let's set it to our softwood lumber. All right. And then let's insert a layer up. This one is gonna be drywall on both sides, right? Gypsum wallboard, sorry. And a half inch, half inch drywall, insert, down, 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 finish, gypsum wallboard again. This is so fun, Mr. Tosh, I love it. Half inch. Okay, all right, now this is the tricky part to think about where you're going to orientate this because if I use the wall center line here, it's going to infringe into my closet space. My closets are at the minimum two feet deep that's required. So for this one, I'm going to just keep it at my finish face interior, and I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to space bar. I'm going to make sure that I get my closet space bar. This one, it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. And I could take this wall. I could pull it across. If you're not happy with the position on your sketch, you know, we could add it here. And really when we throw our dimensions in there, we'll get to see uh, where we are in the world. And if we like it or not, this is just kind of a rough guess. And Spacebar, flip it. This would actually be a plumbing wall that we should make five and a half inches, but for the sake of time, Let's just make it a regular one for now. All right, and you're just going to go around and make all the walls that you see. Remember, space bar is, is, is the best for flipping that orientation. And you can see, this is what I was talking about. You put the work in for your sketch, and you get a good sketch. This should just be tracing, and this is when things are going to pay off. Where, wow, that line got real crooked there. And what you could do, you can always go back and bump them around with the arrows if you're not happy with the location. And put them where they need to go so let's look and see what my house looks like and you can see this video has been nine minutes and I've done my entire uh, wall layout for my house I have my interior exterior walls the next thing that we're gonna do in is, is we're gonna go in and dimension them and make sure that things are the appropriate sizes so insert your sketch and then make your wall styles and then start tracing over it